Hi, my name is Tomasz Aleksander Miś from Warsaw University of Technology. Among many projects in our association, we do also do stratospheric missions. We fly to an altitude of about 30 kilometers. Our specially designed gondolas are mainly, ma mainly made of composite, composites of many different kinds of plastic and quite recently we have discovered how to manufacture their parts and parts of our experiments also using the 3D printing technique. 3D printed parts that we decided to use in our project for the Rexus Bexus campaign of Isa DLR and Rind Stirelsen were manufactured for, uh, for us graciously by Zoltrax, nice Polish company, which provides very good quality of 3D printed elements and many different materials of non characteristics, non mechanical characteristics, which is very important for extreme missions just like ours. 3D printed elements are a new type of elements for our balloon missions, so before using them for a wider, for wider scale, we had to test them first, test them in situ, that means send it, to send them up in the stratosphere. This is one of the elements we managed to send up there. It is mounted on a special gondola of ours, on the security mushroom gondola. This little element will help us to determine whether the high temperature and it's a high grade, the high gradient of temperature and very low pressure that occurs in stratosphere is ominous for this type of material. Mm, is it damaging it really? Or maybe mm, is it not uh, damaging it at all? So, my name is Emilia Wengrzyn and I'm main mechanical engineer at Bulma Project. And the main uh, concept of experiment is based on double aerodynamic cyclone with fan unit assembly. Both cyclones have their own horizontal inlets with trumpets and a common outlet with siphon and nozzle. Thanks to 3D printing we can manufacture very complicated shapes as you can see uh, with this experiment. So uh, we've got parts like this. You can see that flow is going here through this inlet. It's around this and then up and uh, this is here is outlet. Hi, I'm Nefi Planka. I'm the mechanical engineer and uh, I'm taking care of the tests uh, here in the Bulma team. Uh, here we prepared some chemical buff uh, for our 3D printed part. Uh, we make it for make the surface of the part uh, more smooth and to seal all leaks inside the surface. Hello, I am Alexander Moswowski from Warsaw University of Technology from uh, Student Space Association. Uh, I am a member of the uh, University Rover Challenge team, uh, which uh, use uh, this year uh, 3D printing, uh, printing models elements from Zortrax company. Uh, we use it for um, ultrasonic sensors, which can uh, say us how far we are from things which we need to catch by manipulating. Our rover need to be only 50 kilograms heavy. It's one of the rules from competition. Uh, it's difficult to achieve this goal and that's why we need to use a 3D printing uh, elements which are very light and uh, useful for our uh, construction. Hi, my name is Michał Kazaniecki and I'm also a member of URC team from Student Space Association. Uh, under part uh, that we designed uh, in co that competition uh, was the case for uh, motor drivers. The main goal of those cases was to protect uh, the drivers against uh, environment, against dust and uh, electrical shocks. Uh, thanks to 3D printing technology uh, we can fit, fit precisely cases to designed by us uh, electrical boards and uh, place them directly on our rover.